Hello, this is Crystal Playfair, physical therapist with the Calgary Catholic School Division. In this video, I would like to show you a fun activity that you can do with your child that works on number, color, and shape recognition, math skills, and gross motor skills at the same time. You can see that I have written numbers in different shapes and colors. These numbers are not written in any particular order or sequence. We are going to combine different movements with recognition and math skills throughout the activity. You can make the activity more challenging by asking your child to do multiple skills at the same time. The first activity we will do is number recognition. Can you hop on one leg to the number 10? Once your child lands on the number, you can ask them to balance for the same number of seconds on both the right leg and the left leg. Also make sure they hop on the other leg as well. Can you hop on your left leg to the number 20? Great. The next activity you can do is have your child move to the number in a specific shape. Can you jump like a bunny to the number six in a triangle? Great. Can you crab walk to the number nine in a square? Lift your bum up nice and high. Great. The next activity you can do is have your child move to a number written in a specific color. Can you walk like a giraffe to the number, the green number 17? Can you march to the blue number 12? To make it even more challenging, you can combine color, shapes, numbers, and movements. Can you bear walk to the number eight in a yellow triangle? Can you walk like a penguin to the number 11 in a green square? Great, the next activity you can try to make it more challenging is to have your child move to the answer of a math question that you ask them. Can you frog jump to the answer for eight plus eight? Great, can you gallop sideways to the answer for six minus two? Great, can you gallop sideways the other way to the answer for four times four? Can you skip to the answer for 20 divided by two? And can you do jumping jacks to the answer for three times three? Good. You can make this activity even more challenging by adding more numbers, spreading the numbers out so that your child has to move a further distance, or by adding larger numbers and by asking more complicated math questions. I hope you enjoyed this video and you have fun trying it with your child at home. Thank you.